Greetings, Minecrafters! Non-Sanity here, and welcome to another episode of All the Mod 9 to the Skies. Alright, we did a lot of Batania. Just automating the bejesus out of it. And the last thing to do is to fight the Gaia. So I'm tooled up. I've got my big sword with Sharpness 9 and Mystical Enlightenment 9. Don't need the Mystical Enlightenment for Gaia. That's not going to help there. It only works with, with Withers and the Ender Dragon. But I also just bought this sword with Sharpness 10, though it doesn't do as much damage. Uh, looting 5, Unbreaking 5, and Scavenger 5. Mobs killed may roll their loot tables twice. That could be useful fighting the Gaia. So maybe I'll do this, which has almost 30 attack damage, and switch to this wimpy 13 to finish it off and maybe get an extra loot. I also made a Witherless Rose, which is easy enough to do. That'll protect me from withering. And as I said in the last episode, I need a place to do it. So... I made a matter transmitter here from RF Tools, and there's a receiver over here. And these two are linked to a pair where we're going to do the fight. So, let's head over there. There's our beam back. And this is where we shall do the fight. I made an arena. <laughs> Yeah, I was uh, doing something else that didn't require me to uh, use the computer, but I was sitting at the computer. So uh, I just doodled out a little arena here just for fun. And uh, we've got our one, one uh, actor over here who is not facing front. Let's see if we can fix that. Where's my yoinker? There's a yoinker. Because underneath here, I put that block, a stasis chamber. And it's powered from below, which means if you enter into its field of view, you get slowed. I can fly out. But if I put the guy down here and wait till he... Here. Yeah, gotcha. Just want him facing the right direction. And put him down here, and there he is. <laughs> I gave, hit him with a name tag so he won't despawn. His name is Menander, the Greek playwright. Seemed fitting. And this should be the right size. The uh, sand, even these little bits here, is the area necessary for the Gaia fight. And I had forgot to up these to the last stage, which was easy enough just using the the pink stuff that comes out of the elf portal. Uh, the mod that added the uh, extra step. So these are the, the Botania ones, the blue, green, pink. But to make the pink, you need the one from Mythic Botany. It sort of stuck itself between green and pink. Probably because it didn't want to make itself at the end, because then it would have to change how the uh, Gaia uh, setup works and swap in its own. It was probably just easier to insert itself earlier in the chain. Anyway, all we need here is a piece of Terra Steel. There we go. I also have some aerial pearls, which have to be clicked on a, a zombie to activate. I've already, I've done a few, but there should be plenty of zombies in this. What else do I got going for me? I do have my charm belt. So I've made a whole bunch of charms. Oh, that's interesting. They, do they actually take damage? Does that damage heal? Doesn't seem to. 
I didn't know they had a limited use. Creeper, spider, ghast, enderman. Do I have wither skeleton? No, I don't. What does it take to make a wither skeleton charm? Oh, I can make that. Let's go ahead and make that one. So this is how you make these. Uh, there it goes. You want... Oh, I don't have enough withered ribs. All right. But I can make that from the loot fabricator. We'll go back the fast way. So this one here... Whoop. Missed my chance. There. Withered rib. I'll start getting me those. Really? Oh, they're probably going to be sitting in the input. Yeah, because they don't have a place to go over in here. So let's -dunk. lock that down. Oh, and I added one more. I, I tore down the system for making processors. And I set it up in here. And now this one is complete. It's got all three of the main AE2 processors and two of the logic. It also has this one, which is used for the power cells, and this one for the mega cells. Uh, I've got them all stacked so the top row is the silicon, making the uh, printed silicon. The bottom rows are making the specific circuits for all of them using their correct inscriber press. And the middle assembles them. And all of them are redstone except this one at the end, which takes fluix. So uh, this redstone barrel sort of pipes around that one. I use that spot to put power into these universal pipes, which are not connected to each other, each row. And the top one here gets the silicon. And the Fluix comes in here from the side, from the AE2 system. And then because the, uh, the energy circuits require this charged redstone, I'm charging the redstone in an energizing orb. So the raw materials come in here, redstone, sky stone dust, and fluix dust from the AE system. The redstone goes over here to get turned into blocks. Could have done it in a number of different ways. I just had one of those on me. Could use like a compacting drawer. And both of these two are named for Super Factory Manager as the ingredients. Uh, this is the out uh, up above. Let's go back up there. That dropping conveyor belt is named drop. So when the uh, factory manager puts things into it, they just drop into the water. There is a item collector down here that puts them into the out folder or out drawer. And then oh, over here. And then the orb is also named in that script. So the script is, if the output has less than a thousand, so if this has got over a thousand, it'll stop. Right now it's at 3.4, so it's not gonna run. Uh, it, so it has to be under a thousand and the ingredients, I have to have at least 64 of each of the three ingredients then it takes from ingredients, and both of those two are named ingredients three. They all, all, all the machines here have three on the end. So this will pull from either one of them and then drop 64 of each of the stuff into the dropper three. And this only runs every three seconds. And then on every second, it tries to pull something from the output thing here and put it in the orb for charging. 
And then the, oh, excuse me, and then the orb just uh, feeds it into this drawer, which feeds it over into the system. And right now it's all back, back stuffed. I gave it a downgrade, so it only holds a stack. Don't need to have a lot of buffer in the system. There's already plenty down below. And then all these are on uh, storage buses with a priority of 90, just slightly less than my dank storage. And they're all capped out at 2K. I also moved all the processes I already had, which is about like 50, so 73, 50,000, 18,000, 789. Uh, all the ones I had in the system, I, I shifted over here to the dank. So now they will get taken first. And if these run out, because this is on uh, priority 100, so it'll come here first. And if they run out, it will start using and making the others. So I've got more if I ever run out. I thought I had run out of one of them, but uh, the recipe I was looking at, the thing I was missing was just a piece of cable. I thought it was another processor. I should have looked, but I built all that and it's good. All right, uh, we should have enough rib bones now. I only need to make six of these. There we go. And then you make the charm. Oh, I already had some. Is, is, did I miss it? Do I have one in there? Angry Enderman, Enderman. Okay, now I have the Enderman. Or did I just make Angry Enderman? I guess I just made Angry Enderman. Hmm, okay. I thought I was making a... Uh... I have two Angry Endermen in here. I was making a Wither. Wither Skeleton Charm Fragment. Wither Skeleton Charm. How did I get an Angry Enderman? I'll have to watch the playback, see what I did wrong there. Wither Skeleton Charm. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, okay. The recipe. I said use these. These are Wither. I clicked that. But these are Angry Endermen. That's why I didn't take the ones from my inventory. Got to get rid of those. All right. That's what happened. There we go. So it just made something I already had on the belt. There we go, Wither Skeleton. All right, we'll just put that back, oops, on my belt. Let's head back over to the stadium. And I think we're ready. Oh, what happened to... Oh, he's... Even though uh, yeah, he's here, isn't he? Can I click him? I think he's there. He's just, in, I don't see the invisible potion particles. Uh, I just want to see, make it, make a day. Oh no, he's gone now. Wonder what happened. He's been there for days, a couple days now. <laughs> Oh well, he might have been killed in this anyway. Here, oh, uh, one more thing. I should turn the sound down a bit because it's going to get loud. Crouch and click. Yep, looks like I got the size right.
It's all skeletons. Well, I didn't realize he was so close. I didn't switch to the other sword. Only it was all skeletons. There was only one zombie. <laughs> that was the weirdest uh, Gaia fight I've ever done. But I got eight Gaia spirits, which is great because now I can make two Gaia spirit seeds. And to grow those in my farm would require a Gaia spirit crux, and there is no recipe to make that. So they have to be done in the uh, phytogenic insulators, which is fine. I already have those set up. I don't really need them for the all the modium, so I will use them for these Gaia seeds. All right, so done with this place. <laughs> I, I will be using, there are a few other fights I need to do summonings for. I'll do them in that location. Yeah, these are sort of nice. You uh, give them a name and there has to be a dialing device next to it for the next to the uh, transmitter, which is this one. Power everything and then you set the location and say dial. You can also say dial once, in which case, as soon as you step in and are transported, the connection closes down. Hmm, excuse me. But uh, I, I just set it to permanently go to that location. You get this little green beam, which is nice. All right, so I'm going to toss those in my system. I want to be able to do the dragon next. Do I have anything in the deep learner? I do not. Let's make four of those. And what else do we need for the dragon? We're going to take some uh, glass bottles, some empty soul vials, three bee cages, and crystal bow and that. And I'm just going to put the bow here. I'll swap the, so the, these glass bottles I'll bring down. But I want to have these on my hot bar so I can click the dragon, get all four. Oh, and now we need to get to the end. End cake. Should be able to just make this crushed. Oh, I don't have any. That's good enough. End cake. And I think we want some eyes of ender. And we'll put it here. I think if you hit it with eyes of ender, you'll have more bites. There we go. Bring those back down. And let's go to the end. find the dragon and imprint my neural networks here. Where are you? There you are. We should be pretty immune to it. Ah, got me. I didn't get it that time. Come back here. Stop hiding from me. Don't run away. <laughs> it's scared of me. It knows what's coming. Really, it's just 
Doesn't want to come near me. Missed. <laughs> there, got them all. All right. Put them in here. I guess we should take these out. some ender air. Did not expect to be able to get it with the bow. Got some Dragon's Breath, got a little bit of Ender Air, got a Dragon Heart for Draconic Evolution, we got a Dragon Egg. All right, now the empty Soul Vials, those are for Shulkers. So let's, oh, there's more stuff over here I should pick up. Only six Draconium Dust for all that. Oh, we only got... I got eight Dragon Scale. Okay, good. Because we do need those Dragon Scales, and we need a lot more. So I'll fight the Dragon more off-camera. Do the first one on-camera. We do need uh, some bees. So let's check to see if there are any bees here. I can, oh, there's a beehive. Anybody in it? Yep, there is. And there he is. Where's my uh, sturdy bee cages? I was the only one, yeah. And what does it take, Dragon's Breath? Or uh, is that just, see I put the Dragon's Breath away. Yeah, so that'll start at making a new B. Any more hives? Don't see any more. Oh, no, there's one. Anybody home? Yep. Is he going to come out right away like the other one did? That was nice. <laughs> ah, I heard him in there. There, got him. So I'll put those away. 
I didn't get a ender pearl. I just want a regular pearl, please. I get one on my system, but I'm just standing right here. There we go. <laughs> so where was there? It is. Let's head on out and find a city. How lucky did we get? Oh, there's a bunch of bees over here. I thought I saw some bees. There. That's a different type, though. That's an ender. Okay. Oh, they have the uh, meteors from uh, Draconic Evolution. Since I hadn't been to the end before they added that mod. Uh, yeah, these have in them Ender Draconium ore. But I have plenty of Draconium. I don't really need them. I got 27,000 Draconium dust. <laughs> There'll be more here in this ball of obsidian. It'll help if I'm standing. I'm curious what's inside. It's been a long time. Oh yeah, just a bunch of it. All right, let's uh, get a structure compass. Do I have it in my backpack? I do. Oh, I need to uh, change that to end city. Select. This way. All right, we should have some shulkers around here. I see one. <laughs> Let's get the soul vials out. Oh, I broke the block he was sitting on. He went somewhere else. Loots. All right, well, I got all three of the shulker that I needed. Don't know if I need any more. I'm going to set these in here. All right, half dozen dragons or so dead, and I'm back. The ender uh, models are now up to advance. I just stuck them in here. They've already started going up from the basic they were at. Uh, they're set to make dragon eggs, but I grabbed one, or is it two? I think it's just one that you need to, let's see, use. Yeah, one to make a dragon head. Everything else we already have, and I placed that over here. Stuck an extractor on its head with an output inventory. It doesn't like having the return dank up there. It wouldn't start doing its little flicker thing. Place a regular chest and it flicker things. So I just hooked it up to this output, which goes to a an output chest. Made a slot for the dragon egg and the dragon's breath. And yeah, I already have the withered ribbon here. All right. Now with the Gaia spirits, can make the seeds. So I've got three seeds over here running through the phytogenic insulators, creating Gaia, Gaia spirits. And with the Gaia spirits, you can make, where is it here? The mana cell housing. 
And then you can take the mana cell housing. And this, I was wrong saying that everything that the terrestrial agglomeration plate could do, the mana infuser can also do. Can't do this one. Mega cells is not default botanium. Anything default botanium can you be done on it. And the bees can be done on it. But this recipe isn't on the agglomeration plate. So I had to switch it back to the terrestrial agglomeration plate to make this recipe. But that's in the system now. I can ask it to uh, make me more. And once you have the housing, you can stick whatever sized uh, storage component you want in it. And I've done that over here, right there. I made the 256 million mega storage cell, the biggest you can make. You can see it does sort of max int bytes. And we've got 323 of the 2.6 billion that it can hold. Uh, and how much mana is that? 161 million mana, whatever that equates to in mana pools, I'm not entirely sure. Let's run in there and see how that how I get it in there. I'll go into the fountain is gone in the middle. Instead, we've just got a flux mana pool. And it's connected, as you would think, underneath to the AE system. And why are the I tried swapping out the uh, all the pipes because I did get this to work better. Now it's not working at all. I've seen this happen before. If I break this, place it down, put the program back in, it's still not running. All right, there seems to be a problem. Get out the label gun. Crouch right click to suck up the labels. Oh, the labels are gone. Interesting. All right, sink. You're the sink. And you're the tank. Oh, and then stand right click. Pop them in there. And it's going slowly. I thought I had this running faster. Oh, no. That's right. I had set this up to test it uh, again, thinking I had found a solution like... ...twenty of them. And that is faster. I don't think it's as fast as the pipes were. I don't think I can do any more than that. Because this is 20 ticks. So every 20 ticks, it does this. And if each of these takes a tick, and I, I can't imagine they take a whole tick each operation. So that's probably only getting... Let's see how, how far is it going up. It's jumping up pretty good. Let's see up here in the output. If I clear it. All right, so it is just getting... It is a little slower. But I think... Let's look at the... Uh, Let's leave it the way it is. Let's get uh, can, um, matter three of them, sure. And some components. Uh, no, 16K isn't big enough. 64. Let's do the 256. So if I put down two more of these and give them a card, send them to matter. And then get some inventory cable, hook them up, and then call them, oops, call them tank two as well. Load that into there. They should be going up at the same time. 
and at the same rate. So we've just increased the speed. And I wonder if it helps to go around the sides. Probably not in the same way that the, yeah. Cause it's only going to connect to it once, unfortunately. The pipes, I can make it connect multiple times on multiple sides and I'll treat those as multiple destinations. But the inventory cable is just going to find the closest path to get to the target. And so it's only going to count it as one side. It's going to ignore all the rest of the pipe. I don't think this would be fast enough to keep up with all the flowers. There are other flowers we can do, too. We don't have to do this complicated one. Like there's one that eats ender stars. Oh, I still do, do need a uh, blaze rod. And why am I using blaze rods? Because they can be made with EMC and no other processing necessary. A bunch of new items were added, EMC colon, but it's mostly just the um, macaws, fences, bridges. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else of significance that was added. But like coal isn't on here. I can give it wood, but that's that would burn really fast. I can make it a lot faster. I don't think they can burn gunpowder. So just the blaze rod. And uh, I don't even know if it's going to be able to fill these things up. It may not be even making it fast enough to support the flowers. Now it's going to have to fill everything up, but okay, you can see how it's it's working here. It's beaming mana into that pool. Of course, now that we're doing that, we don't need the whole tablet system. So instead of that, I just have another one of these pools and it's hooked up to the AE. So it's it provides all the mana everything here needs. Much simpler. <laughs> and we can have a really large backlog of mana. So even though my mana production had stopped, I've got so much stored up that uh, I could still ask for crafts and they would have worked. Always remember to refill that when I get back. All right, let me decide what I'm going to do next and I'll be right back now. I guess, well, yeah, we'll do maybe do one more thing. Be right back. All right, here's something we can do. I made some dark nether stars. Let's see, recipe, which is obsidian ingots around nether star and obsidian ingots is, you just cook up this block of obsidian, or a piece of obsidian with some iron nuggets around it run over to our summoning altar, slap that, two blaze rods, two mana steel, dragon's breath, and a TNT. And we have a philosopher's stone from Project E. And I'll go ahead and make a second one, because that will be useful. All right, let's put this philosopher's stone to use. Uh, let's mix it with some coal. Four. We've got this alchemical coal, and I'm just going to make a lot of it. Make maybe I'll just do two inventories worth and see if that how that does. And then you take four of that, and that upgrades it. So that should be about half an inventory's worth. Yep. And you take four of that. You get eternalist fuel. That makes blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. Other things this thing can do. It can make 
transmutation tablet. I want to make two, place one down, toss this one in, pull it back out again. It has been learned. Now we're going to take it and turn it into the transmutation tablet, which is one we can hold in our hand. And with that one, we can start hooking this up to our AE system. So maternalist fuel, transmutation interface. We can't make the transmutation terminal because that requires red matter. We're not a red matter yet. We can make this module. So let's do that. I think this just has to be attached to our ME network. And let's go ahead and do it in the main ME room here. I uh, need a bit of cable. See. Get some of the blue cable. And we'll just stick it off. Oh, no, oh, that's light blue. Light blue, light blue. That's cyan. Where's light blue? Do I not have light blue? All right, we'll just use regular blank, which will connect. Strap that on there. All right. I think that's all that needs to do. And I haven't really experimented with this at all. So we got tons of stuff with EMC. Yeah, maybe we may need the terminal in order to uh, do much with that. Don't worry, I'll look it up between episodes and figure out. But now we, I'll, when we come back, I'll show you how that all works. <laughs> uh, the other parts we can do, let's see. That is not doing what I said to do. Oh, I need to do it on this. So we can make an export bus, an import bus, an interface. We can do this crafting. It's like a M, uh, uh, EMC crafting. And I just think you need to have that attached to the system for this to work. Import bus. Yeah. So I think we can import and export EMC the items. But we may need to have this transmutation terminal. No, I think if we just learn it in the tablet or this one, then I think, like, uh, what's something I've got little of? All right, low conveillance dust. If I put that all in here and I just take one out. And now let's get, I'm just experimenting now. <laughs> let's do a little bit of experimenting. Oh, no, I want to get the, uh... stick that over on the side. So let's do a export bus. Oh, what am I missing? Not a formation cores. Yes, I could be. Need another transmutation tablet. Uh, give it some EMC, and we've got a transmutation tablet. <laughs> oh, I need to. That's the transmutation plate. Let's teach it the tablet too. No, nope, tablet is not. EMC. There we go. All right, so export. And let's just get a drawer. Put it down here. So this is an EMC ex. Oh, that's just a regular export bus. No, okay, it's a transmutation export bus. If we say export this, we, there's none of that in the system. So it's the low covalence dust. I can craft it, 
but we don't have any in the system. So if I tell it to make some, it is making. It's doing it very slowly, but we can uh, grab some speed upgrades. Now it should not be actually using the crafter to craft it. Uh, we can check that by looking at the crafters down here. And all four of them are silent. None of them are being used. So that is using the EMC. I filled it up with 2,000. So, it, And I guess the EMC that I put in here, I should have looked what this number was beforehand. It's 390,943. If I take out a stack, nine, it went down. And I put this stack back in, 943. So yeah. So I can burn things in this table and then the exporter can, anything that we've trained it, it's learned, this exporter can generate straight out of the EMC that we've put into the table. Just because we've attached that little widget down there inside the AE system. All right. That'll be a whole lot easier way to make uh, the uh, blaze rods <laughs> for the, so now I can just, export blaze rods from one of these things. All I need to do is put stuff into here. And can we use hoppers uh, and, or, you know, like pipes? I've never tried just piping into one of these before. Let's try it. Oh no, it doesn't have a connection. Uh, maybe on the bottom. No, I'd be That'd be too easy. Not sure there's anything we can do without having red matter in order to, well, I guess you can do the importer. Yeah. We make this importer and it can import anything with EMC. It's a roundabout way to do it. I don't think there's anything else in here. Remember the transportation interface? If nothing else, the import bus, I could export like my phantom membranes or generate matter balls and import them with this and that should turn them into EMC. And then this will be able to output EMC. I guess let's test it because testing is important. This is how we learn. So I'm going to take that off. And I don't need both wrenches in my inventory. This one does everything this one can do. Not vice versa. So let's make the... Oh, where was it? Import bus. Need another one of these. And I think I just used the one that was in my inventory. <laughs> okay, import. And we can put speeds into it and teach it low convalence. So that should be sucking all that back into the system. All right. But do we have any in the system? We do not. So it was imported straight into EMC. Excellent. All right, now we know how that works. We can import and export EMC into our system and use it to convert anything we want, well, anything that has EMC, to anything else. All within the comfort of our own AE network. Boot. All right. That, I think, is a good stopping place. I'm thinking next time, occultism, I think, Unless I can think of something else that I need to do first. Maybe start, yeah, maybe start on a fission reactor because we do need to get that going. I'd like to get red matter. We need to have plutonium, I think. Maybe that needs antimatter. Let me check. Uh, red matter. 
think it's just plutonium. Make red matter, summoning altar, plutonium pellet, yes. I might reset up sifting to get the echo shards. I've got a bunch, but... Uh, or I can summon a warden. Yeah, maybe I'll make the warden island. Or actually, I think I could just... Hold on. Let's run over to the... Uh, arena here. Skulk core. Not sure if I need to set off four different ones or if I can just set this one off four times. That's two. There's three. I don't think the jump was actually making any sound. There's four. Will that summon him? Yes! We have a warden. I should get a sword. Actually, I should get my other sword, too. Hey! Tendril. That's it. <laughs> it's called Catalyst. Shouldn't he drop more than that? Maybe not. Anyway, I can I can summon him whenever I need. Uh, I think I want to. Yeah, I think I need to capture him, jar him maybe. So if I put that down and uh, that and get one of the jars, containment jar, well, that one's got a wither in it. I tested it with the wither. Down a jar. We'll bring him back. And I just need the tablet. Oh, just, just one was enough to bring him? All right. <laughs> I need my containment one of those. He's not getting contained. Does he have to get closer? Scoot. Scoot. I don't know, he's standing right on top of it and he's not being... Oh wait, I need to tap it. There we go. Running. Blunk. Now he's in a jar. <laughs> I forgot I have to activate it, too. Shake the warden. <laughs> All right. That's, uh, I think that's enough for this episode. <laughs> Just shake the warden. He's been bad. This is Nonsanity signing out. Take care, be good, and see you next time.